So this is a short video just to show you how to use a uh, co-violet in combination with MS forms to produce some quick uh, assessments for classes um, that can be marked by um, the MS forms. So some of that just came to my attention recently. Some of you may already know how to do this, so it may well be old hat, but uh, for those of you who are not quite so IT savvy, perhaps this is something new. So, um, Copilot, for those of you who don't know, is an AI uh, package run by Microsoft, so it's uh, safe, it's available through the C2K system. Um, so, first thing you do is you obviously navigate yourself to Copilot uh, through your browser, uh, and then you go to the, uh, the Ask box here, and let's say, for example, I wanted to get some questions on and multiple choice questions on a chemistry topic for GCSE, I might write something like, so I've just asked it there to write 10 multiple choice questions for GCSE moles topic in chemistry, okay, and then I'd submit that. So the next thing that will happen was that the AI package will start to produce them. And I will have, at the end of this, hopefully, 10 suitable multiple choice questions. So when that's finished, you have a few options, okay? You can either ask them to write some more questions, okay? You can uh, ask them to write some more difficult questions, okay? Or you can simply copy that, which is uh, what I'm going to do. Uh, copy this, and I'm gonna bring that into uh, Microsoft Word. Now, when you bring it over into Microsoft Word, uh, just paste it in and then take out anything that you don't want into your final quiz. Okay, so let's just get rid of all of that. And then you save that to a suitable area as you normally would. The next thing that you do is go to your, uh, your Start tab and click on the Microsoft 365 Web Apps. When you get to that, okay, it should just bring you automatically to it uh, through your C2K user area. Uh, you click on the apps, and when you get into there, you will click on the forms, which is on mine here, probably in the same place for everybody's. When you get into forms, you click on quick import, and then you click on upload from this device. You will have saved your Word document, okay? So my Word document is on my desktop here. Okay, and then you click on that and then you import that as a quiz. What the forms will do then is convert your Word document into a Microsoft Forms quiz. You'll know when it's ready when you see this icon and you click Start Review. When you stick, click Start Review, you will have all of the questions that were generated in your co-pilot, okay, as so. Now, some of these may or may not be appropriate, or you may want to change them. Okay, if you do want to do that, you just click on the question, and then you can either edit the word uh, wording of the question, or you can edit the wording of the answer. Okay, you can add alternate answers if you want to do that. Okay, um, so when you've done that, if you just click out of it, and then that will say that you can change the title of the quiz, you can give it here, description if you want. Okay, then obviously you'll want to set this as a task for your students. So if you click on your collect responses and then you can do a variety of things here. You can click copy the link here that you can see me hovering over and you can just copy and paste that into perhaps a Firefly task. You can, if you're doing it in class, you can put the QR code like so. Um, you could paste that into a Firefly task for them or you could just get them to scan that on their phones. Okay, um, you have options over here as to who can and cannot fill it in. Okay, I would just stick with the options that I have ticked there. So record the name of the person. Obviously you want that so you can assign marks to that person and obviously only one response per person as well. Okay, so you copy that link, okay? And then obviously whenever you have done that, you can put that into a Firefly task, you can send it to the students in whatever format you want. You will then, I'm not gonna go through and 
do uh, the task. But it, you'll then obviously get your responses. Now, I have no responses, obviously, for this. But whenever you get the responses, you can um, have a look at how the kids did in particular questions, how they did overall, and you can put those into an edX or an Excel spreadsheet. Okay, and then copy and paste those marks over into your departmental spreadsheet. Okay, hopefully that explains how you go about turning a co-pilot AI uh, set of questions into a usable assessment uh, and to collect some uh, assessment data on students. Thank you very much.